to my channel. Hello, oh, 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 hello, oh, 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 hello, oh, welcome back to my channel, yo. Okay, I don't know if you can hear that, but there are very sketch noises coming. Okay, I can't see shit, so I don't know what the fuck that is, but we'll just act like nothing's happening. It is 1 a.m. right now, so I don't know what are these people doing. No manners. People are sleeping and they're just... But yeah, it's 1 a.m. If I'm acting weird, that is why. Actually, this is my true self. It just comes out at 1, 2, 3 a.m. And I'm really exhausted. But I'm also alone and I'm just being silly, goofy me. Now that I've talked nonsense for 10 minutes, I'm just going to get into the video, which is fashion challenge. I saw this fashion challenge video, which was done by Emma. And I talk about her like she's my best friend because in my head, we are best friends. <laughs> but Miss Emma Chamberlain, the queen, she did this fashion challenge. And I actually don't know how to link videos here. And like the suggestion tab comes in. But if I figure it out, I'm going to link it there. Or I'm just going to put it in this put it in the description so you can look if you want to but it is really cool but then when i went on google to look for a list of scenarios i couldn't find any but except i found this this is a 30 day fashion challenge and obviously i'm not gonna change 30 outfits today i am not gonna survive i'm gonna die if i try to do that but i'm just gonna do five today but i'll probably make this a series so that i can do the whole 30 outfits because I'm really excited. What the fuck is... It's 1 a.m. What are these people doing? Cue the first day challenge. A day without a color you normally wear. That is why I had orange in my mind and I had these. I got these months and months ago. But I've never ever worn these. Because I just couldn't style them with anything. I thought they'd be so cool in like a statement piece sort of color. I don't want to put an all black outfit on but I think that is what I'll end up putting because it's the easiest and I don't know if my brain is gonna come up with something cooler than all that outfit but we'll see. Pick the heels. Oh my god. The heels. I know I've kept it really really simple. At least I didn't go for an all black outfit but it's still very very simple because the heels itself I don't know I think they're the mustard, so they're really out there. I don't want to do anything more crazy. I could have tried to experiment with more colors, but I just went with a very basic plain uh, yellow vest top. And I have these white pants, loose trouser pants, and the heels. I love the angles I'm providing. I think the fur would look a little better. See, now I'm providing you with some something extra in this basic outfit. So this is a really really basic casual outfit but then you look at the heels which are mustard and you're like oh she's she got color and then you look at this and you're like oh my god that's far okay that's cool that's fun i could look for shades you know what let me look for shades okay i'm going with these white shades which i think look weird on me but we're just gonna go with it this is the outfit using a color I don't usually wear. Okay, challenge number two. How much more color do you want? I also made this bracelet. I made this necklace, okay? And I made a bra matching bracelet. I just wanted to show this off but i didn't wear this i wore this one which my brother got me actually it's like a it's made out of shells look how pretty it is these are all shells so i had to show that off this is one of my childhood necklaces i was very little when i got this and i can't throw things away because i'm emotionally attached to them so i have it and i just wore it for the fun of it because you want color i'm gonna give you colors to like neutralize the outfit a little, I just threw in the white heels and white bag to tie together and green pink combo superior, you cannot go wrong. 
I have these pink glasses which I don't think really go with the outfit. I only have two, three poses in my mind, so I'm just gonna. Okay, I am going to kill myself. Cool. I just saw the third challenge, and I'm going to admit this is tough. I've never done this before. Never ever thought of doing this before. I think it's a crime. I'm gonna try though. This is a real challenge. Real challenge starts from here. Okay, let me look for something. Let me use my creativity and let's see if I can do something. Okay, I did figure out the outfit, but there are difficulties. This is my dad's jacket. So this is actually really vintage and I don't want to ruin it. Something has happened to the zipper. It is stuck. I can't get it to move upwards, but I'm not taking that risk. I tried for a minute, but I don't want to try too hard because I cannot afford ruining this. Yeah, so I'll have to just hold it like this. But this is the outfit and I am wearing these shoes. Zoom in on the shoes, please. Oh. Okay. These are... Oh my god, I am scared. I just flashed someone from here or from here it can oh my god this is risky they're like color block shoes oh my god okay yeah those are color block shoes and they just add a fun element i also have not shaved one of my legs can you tell which one is it okay i'm not allowing you to zoom in that much but uh i just shaved one bottom half of one of my legs because i had to wear a slit dress so i just shaved the leg that was visible through the slit and so yeah okay yeah, i think this is better i've just added these brown sunglasses which i think are really cool they match a little with the beige i could have gone with this light blue bag but i think for some reason i want to go with this one and people may not like it but i really like it i'm obsessed with this bag this is again my childhood bag when i tell you i have most of my closet is just filled with my sister's clothing closing with my sister's clothing or my brother's or my mom a lot of my dad's clothing as well and it's very few of mine clothing and also my childhood things i'm pretty sure this is a handmade bag it is all woven and it has these blue beads it is the cutest thing ever so you best believe i'm adding this with my cute outfit i love this you know i think this might be my favorite outfit so far I'll have to walk like this. Love this. Okay, on to the next challenge. Excuse me. Who is she? Oh my god. This is so out of my comfort zone i don't know if i've paid enough justice to the go big or go home but for me i think this is going really really big this skirt is so so out of my comfort zone i can't begin to explain i never wear skirts that are of this weird length that just go you know under your knees they're really under my knees. I don't wear skirts at this length at all. This is like the most bold piece that I have in my closet as of now. So I thought I would just throw this in, in the going big part. I don't know. And this shirt I thrifted actually. I love it. But I feel like it would look better without the shirt. But I just wanted to add another element to the outfit. I have these glasses which are very out of my comfort zone. I got these over a year ago. I've never worn them in public ever. Because I feel like I look really stupid in these. But I just threw them for the fuck of it. I was like, let's just go big, you know. It's going really crazy in here. So I just have a black small cute bag and a black heel what do we think should i you know what i look at my outfit like this and then i'll just remove the shirt and we'll see which one looks better i was 
was playing around, but I got it out. Oh my god, did I? <laughs> I got it out. Yeah. Also, my rings. I went with this huge ass chunky gold ring. It's not real gold. It's an H and M ring. And this black bead ring that I made by myself. So I made a, quite a few things. I made rings, bracelets, and chains. Necklaces, but they're also called chains. Why did I? Okay, what the fuck was that? I love this. I think without the shirt, I would wear this outside. I would grow some to wear it outside. I am obsessed. Okay. Another challenge, another outfit. This is what I've come up with for the androgynous look. And I will be honest with you guys, I did look that up because I didn't know what it meant. But it just meant uh, putting in or mixing together a male or a boyish clothing with a female or a girly clothing. To do it complete justice, I am wearing my dad's sweater. It is a collared sweater. It's so cute. I'm obsessed with it. And for the female touch, I'm wearing this um, sort of flowy tennisy skirt. Um, I don't think it's tennis skirt exactly. It is just flowy and really short. And to add more boyish Look, I've added this um, bag. What is this called? I always forget what this is called. Oh, fanny pack. This is like a fanny pack bag. Um, but I've added this for this boyish element. I'm using quotations because I genuinely don't believe in this girlish boyish dressing up sense. But traditionally, this is a girlish boyish dress. Added heels. Again, the same black heels to give it a girly effect or a girly element and these round glasses which I don't know if they look good on me or with this outfit. I am obsessed with sweaters. I'm obsessed with collar sweaters. They are my favorite thing in the world and this is my dad's sweater so I'm already very attached and in love with it. I don't know. I can't pick which one was my favorite so you guys can tell me which is like 20 views out of which one is my mom. But I genuinely, oh my god, I appreciate those 20 views so much. Genuinely. I always imagine 20 people standing behind the camera right now and just looking at me. And I'm going to get conscious when I say this. But I genuinely, you know, just look at, oh my god, like 20 people sitting in a room watching my video. And then that just, that sends me off the roof. And I'm like, 20 people. That is so overwhelming to me. So the fact that anyone actually except for my mom is watching this video i am so grateful i'm so thankful thank you so much i don't know if you've made it until here because i don't know how did you do it but if you did it thank you so much genuinely means so much to me thank you i honestly don't do this for the views i don't know why am i getting corny all of a sudden this is why i shouldn't be filming at 2 3 4 a.m in the morning but i genuinely don't do this for views this is something I've been so passionate about and I'll talk about it maybe later deeply and more in a more raw form. I don't think I'm ready for that yet, but I, YouTube is just, I cannot explain how personal and special and it's very, it means a lot to me. Okay. I think most of the people have clicked off at this moment, even though they were watching until now. Sorry. Um, okay. Outfits. Back to outfits. This one I love, I'm obsessed with. I paired it up with this bag and I love this outfit. Even in the bag, I really, really like it. I'm most probably going to continue, what the f I'm most probably going to continue this as a series and add part two, part three later on because I really, really enjoyed this a lot. I love challenging myself, especially when it's about fashion. I don't know what did I do just now with my hands, but Let's ignore it. I love you. You really, really matter to me a lot. And you matter in general a lot. You're going to grow. 
you're going to evolve you're going to become a very much better version and a stronger and a more confident version of yourself when you get toxic people off trust me i've been there done that believe me been there done that so trust pitbull trust me but okay anyways that's me signing off thank you so much for watching i will see you next time i'm getting awkward now okay bye